Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Foxit PDF Reader. So let's open up our web browser and we'll go to this website. I'll put a link to this website in the YouTube description. And Foxit, do more with documents, the PDF Reader for the connected world. So this is a nice PDF Reader that I use quite often. We'll click free Foxit Reader download. We'll click on that button. And it's going to ask me what platform, so we're on Windows, you've got Mac, Linux, 32-bit and 64-bit here as well. So select the relevant operating system, then select your relevant language and click the download button. So the software is downloading at the moment and we'll open up this folder. The download's completed, so I'm going to drag and drop the executable into this folder and we'll double click. And Norton's is saying it's safe to install. So we just follow the on-screen instructions to get this software installed. So let's just wait for that to load up. We'll click next. We'll accept the agreement and we'll continue to install this software. We'll install it with its default settings. You can also install like the Excel plugin, the PowerPoint, the Word, and you can install all these different plugins to work with different applications, create a quick start launch shortcut, we don't want any of this stuff. So normally I turn all these settings off. Safe mode enables you to control unauthorized actions on your data transmission including URL connections. So this is worth having, leaving that on. We don't want to install any third party software, so we don't really want to install this. We'll click install. Okay, so we can close this and then click finish. And we can open up our web browser or we can open up this folder and inside this folder I've got this standard tube map now we can open it with Foxit Reader Adobe Acrobat as well so if you don't have Adobe Acrobat installed you don't want to install Adobe software now you can install Foxit and you can have a look at this don't need to register right now it's not really the default one at the moment so I'm going to say no um, and you've got this nice little PDF reader it's quite useful it's quite robust tool so i'm going to be doing a few tutorials on this software you can do a lot of stuff that you can't really do with your default adobe acrobat reader so you can write comments on here people can share the document you can do stuff like compress the file size or the pdf file you can do quite a lot of things in here that you can't really do with the default um, acrobat reader so that's just a basic tutorial showing you how to get the software installed and I'll be making some more tutorials showing you how to compress PDF files. If you get very large PDF files from your clients or you want to proof some artwork or something like this and you just want to send a smaller file, then you can use this software to crop it. You can rotate content, you can cut out content, you can add more content, you can do loads of different things, comments and stuff like that. So it's quite a robust tool. So we'll close this down for now. That's how you go about installing the software. And I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.